A man stands on the beach, looking out to the ocean, waiting for someone, anyone, to arrive, to save him. I wanted a life of wealth and squalor, and yet I've been marooned on this desolate piece of sand and shit. A sane man's how? All the riches of a lavish fool. I can't tell where I stand. Three weeks, two months, one day. Until I see the world again, I'll never know what I have seen is real. I never knew I depended on people. A family, a wife, a child. All I now care for, within hindsight of my own selfish prospects. Can I? Could I? I could have been better. A man of God? A man of good living? A fortune seeker to see the finished journey before the end? Yes. I was a fool. I can tell myself that now. Three weeks. Two months. A couple of hours. If only I had listened to anyone but myself. To all those who blasted me to hell for my selfish intent. I often wonder, while looking at the pale moon against the cold water, would I have stopped myself from continuing with my plunder? And once I found my box, filled with trinkets and another man's legacy, would I have seen happiness? Like, like the face of my child. The lad would do nothing, a quiet boy, unassuming, disarming, but warm hearted. And in my travels, I saw such tragedies, but for the brief moments I would return home, I would sit and I would watch. And through his eyes, I saw peace. I, I saw a kindness that I would hope. I still hope. I hope the world will never corrupt. And yet, I won't be there to see him conquer the world. And conquer to such a greater success than his father ever could have. I'm losing my mind. Three weeks, two months, a couple of minutes. I must be losing my mind. I saw her the other day, the other week, a, a few minutes ago. Samantha, my wife, she baffles me. She has a strength that no man could ever possess. She came to me in a rowboat and we embraced on the sands, falling even deeper into love. And we explored the island and I saw the trees differently. 
they swayed in almost a perfect manner. And the sun, spotlighting her glowing complexion, radiating those emerald green eyes. And I held her. I felt the weight of her in my arms as we danced across the sands amongst the palm trees. She loved me. And I love her. But then she had to go. And before my eyes, in a blink, like a trick on my sanity, I had my hands in the sand. I pulled them out. And I felt her love trickle down my hands. I was reminded I was alone. I, I miss her so. However, I hope she wastes her life looking for me. Searching for my body to bury. I hope with what small finances I left behind that she can give her son a better chance. <laughs> and he came to the island. But he was older. He was a fine man. I could tell. I could see him. That boy. Now... A man. I laughed him away. I was ashamed that this now man was looking at me, calling me father, telling me I should come home. What use was I? My darling wife has done you better than I ever could. Please let me call you my son so I have something to hold on to. Something I know I will have been made better by not being there. Three weeks. Two months. A couple of years. Three weeks. Three weeks. Two months. Three weeks. A couple of seconds. Years, seconds, five, six, seven, nineteen days, months, months, years, a generation, decades, minutes, moments, three weeks, two months, one day. All I wanted, one day. Now, a moment in time. A man stood on the beach looking out to the ocean waiting for anyone someone to arrive to save him